Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Unlocking Excellence. I'm your host, Coach Eric Schweifel. What's going on? I hope you're having a great day today. So far, you are in for a treat. We have a great story for you today. It's called Shaking Off Your Problems. So y'all, I want to welcome you to today's podcast thing that I've been doing every couple of every couple of podcasts we have a story right a little parable a little message that's deep within there and these stories they are they're timeless they've been re readjusted and, and they've been told in so many different ways so if you heard this before I apologize but I invite you to take it as a reminder right so with that being said let's talk about this there was once a donkey who was grazing in the pastures and he came upon a well. And what ended up happening was as this donkey was searching for water, this is where the farmer normally got it. As he was searching for water, he looked a little bit too far over and he fell in the well. Now, what ended up happening was the donkey looked in the wrong well. There was two. There was one that had copious amounts of water and there was another which was completely empty so what happened was the donkey yelled for help and he yeed and he yawed until the farmer saw that his favorite donkey was trapped in the well he did what he could but he couldn't pull it out no matter how hard he tried nothing was working so what he decided to do was bury it alive he got the shovel and he figured now he could fill up this well that he's been wanting to do for a while. And since he wasn't able to get his donkey out, he would just bury the donkey, right? Soil is poured onto the donkey from above. Each and every time that the farmer scoops it up and he pours it onto the donkey, the donkey yells because the dirt is hitting his back. He feels the load. But every time that dirt hits his back, he shakes it off. And he steps on it. With every passing load of dirt, the donkey gets higher and higher. It shakes it off and it steps up. The more the load was poured, the higher it rose. And by noon, y'all, the donkey was grazing in green pastures. It was able to shake itself off. It moved forward and it was, an, it was able to enjoy the rest of the day and it got the water that he was looking for. So y'all, there's a commonality here. Do you see it? After much shaking off, shaking off the problems, and stepping up, which is learning from them, one will graze in green pastures. You see, life doesn't always throw the lessons, lessons to us the way that we expect them to, right? Sometimes it feels like there's a bunch of dirt that's being thrown on us. And if we let that dirt pile up on top of us, all it's going to do is create the load to be heavier and heavier and heavier until we can't even stand. And when we can't stand and we can't move, then we get buried alive. So the idea is when life throws you lessons that come in the form of dirt or what we think is dirt, the thing that we get to do, right, is to just shake it off, know that nothing is personal. We can take a second, we can breathe, and we can learn from what's happened by stepping up. And if we do that enough, then we'll be free. And we can move and we can decide and we can do what it is that we please in the way that we please, right? I know that got deep. So with that being said, y'all, sometimes problems come at you. And what's the best answer? What's the best solution? Shake it off. Step up. I hope you have a great day. I love you. And listen, if you enjoyed this story, then please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the podcast. Let this baby out into the world. Share it. Please share it. And you can tag us at Schwefel Strength. That is my Instagram handle. And listen, if you need any help, I wanted to mention this too. If you need any help uh, losing weight, feeling great, and getting back in shape, let me know. I have a 30-day online fitness challenge coming up and, a, and also a 61, 60-day 60 one as well. All right, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you had a wonderful 
Have a wonderful day of day and you enjoyed this story. We'll talk soon. Peace.